now, let's check in with Mike Randall he, as he checks the progress of a little cat named America who suffered from a bout of frostbite. We're at the SPCA with another cat. Is this a cat or a kitten, Bethany? Well, interesting that you should ask. This is America. She's actually three years old. Okay. She weighs about five pounds right now. And that's really what a six-month-old cat should weigh. When she, so she was very, very skinny when she came in about a month ago. She weighed three pounds. Okay. And now what's going on with her ears? Uh, so she had hypothermia and she had frostbite. And the frostbite took off the f tips of her ears took off the back end of her tail. It seems like, especially with cats, because they have their uh, ears are so delicate, it seems yes. like that's the first thing affected from the yes. frostbite. Their ears, their nose, their tails, their paws. But her nose was not affected. That's the only thing. Mm -hmm. The pads of her paws were coming off. It was so cold, and oh. she was so hurt. The end of her tail, like I said, was coming off. So she suffered a lot from being outside in the cold. It's just a good reminder to keep your cats inside. So what you're saying is she was kind of a mess when she came in. Yep, surprisingly she was covered in fleas. We don't think about fleas as being outside in the winter, but unfortunately she was covered in them, so she was also anemic. Her tail had to be completely amputated because it had actually mummified due to the frostbite. Wow. So she's been through a lot. But she is a sweet looking cat. I mean, it just seems like uh, maybe got out of the house, somebody's cat, and got out of the house and couldn't get back in. It doesn't you look like a wild cat or anything. 